Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. May pag-abot pa sa akong channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I know uh, it's been a while since I uploaded a video here on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, daming nangyari, ang daming nagbago. Uh, my hair among many things. Ayun, uh, I'm currently here right now sa aking studio. Kung nakikita niyo, parang hindi ba ko rin yung setup ko dito. Uh, dito ako usually nag-aano, nagkukumu. If you guys are on Kumu, please follow me nga pala. It's at Jason the Official. I do Kumu live streams every Friday. So sama-sama po tayo doon. Magkita-kita po tayo sa Kumu. So guys, quickly lang, I just wanna show you my little Kumu setup. Kung saan ako nagkukumu, it's the same chair. Tapos, ayan yung aking mga lights. Uh, yung phone ko syempre, pang Kumu. Aking sound card, aking mic. Yung laptop ko for music. Tapos may mga ilaw din dito sa likod para pang pampakulay. And... Yeah, ayan. I'm about to go live in a few high for my Friday shows. Uh, wala lang. Gusto ko lang i-share kasi sobrang nag enjoy ako sa Kumu so far. Sobrang uh, enjoyable siya. I get to interact with my supporters and meron kami mga kantaan doon, kwentuhan. So, kung may time kayo, please join us minsan sa mga live streams ko every Friday. Uh, follow me at uh, Jason the Official and uh, may partnership on Cornerstone Entertainment with Kumu so all of the Cornerstone artists are on Kumu as well so please go check out their live streams magsama-sama tayo dun every Friday I'm about to go live now and I'll see you guys there uh, anyway back to the video but anyway for this video uh, I just wanna share with you guys kung ano yung naging uh, quarantine body transformation ko kasi uh, gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo kung ano yung mga ginawa ko kung ano yung uh, naging uh, diet ko and mga naging workouts ko para, you know, just in case if you need this kind of inspiration or gusto nyo ng mga tips and tricks para matransform din yung mga body nyo eh, sana may makuha kayo dito sa video na to gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo kung ano yung naging journey ko para ma-achieve itong uh, current uh, situation ng aking uh, katawan yung parang ano, kumbaga, yung parang naging viral lang sa social media na parang how it started versus how it's going so during the pandemic talaga, the beginning of the pandemic, I think everyone naman, uh, all of us, has been affected by the pandemic in one way or another. And dun sa mga umpisang uh, months ng pandemic talaga, ng quarantine, I was really in a rut and medyo na depress ako. I was dealing with a lot of uh, mental health stuff. Yung coping mechanism ko was really food. And hindi na siya naging healthy kasi pag kunwari may pinagdadaanan ako or I was really feeling down that day, I would binge and kakain ako ng marami and kakain ako ng maraming unhealthy food. So usually, ano yan, chips or ano mang junk food or papadeliver ako ng, ng fast food. Naging unhealthy na talaga siya and no so parang nagiging cycle na rin siya kasi kunwari nung araw na yun eh hindi masyadong maganda yung pakiramdam ko. Kakain ako ng marami para to cope. Pero after nang, after kong kumain ng mga junk food na yun or mga unhealthy foods na yun, nararamdaman ko na sluggish na ako or hindi na maganda yung pakiramdam ko or parang nagiging lethargic ako, wala akong energy kasi nga ayun, kumakain ako ng maraming junk or unhealthy food. So nagiging cycle din siya. Like, Mas lalong sumasama yung pakiramdam ko. Mas lalong nagiging down ako. Tapos ano pa ako, uh, wala pa ako masyadong physical activity. Lagi lang ako nakahiga or nakaupo or you know, lagi lang Netflix and chill. So wala talaga akong ano, wala akong energy, wala akong physical activity talaga. So yun yung mga naging experience ko nung first few months. Yung nag-trigger talaga sa akin was seeing myself on TV. Yung mga first few episodes namin ng ASAP na tinape namin. And syempre may mga nagko-comment din sa social media or like sa mga dating YouTube videos ko na parang tumaba nga daw ako, ganun ganyan. And usually hindi naman ako nagpapa-affect sa mga comments online kasi I try to not pay attention naman sa mga negative uh, comments na ganun. But uh, yung nag-trigger talaga sa akin was seeing myself on TV. And I didn't really like what I was seeing. Parang medyo ano na, uh, nakikita ko na nagmamanifest na siya on screen na yung pagiging unhealthy ko. And yung physical state ko was really uh, something that I wasn't happy with. Ayun, if you guys are gonna go into a physical journey, if you want to really transform your body and your, your overall wellness, health and wellness, uh, do it for yourself. Parang kailangan mo siyang gawin dahil gusto mo. Hindi dahil sinabihan ka ng mga ibang tao na ganyan ganyan kaya kailangan mo papayat o kailangan mong gumawa ng mga changes in your diets or in your exercise. Do it for yourself. Do it because you wanna do it. I'm gonna be showing you kung ano yung mga workouts na ginawa ko or ano yung mga pagkain na mga kinain ko to change my eating habits and to you know, transform my body. And sana may makuha kayo yung mga counting tips and tricks. Sana ma-inspire din kayo if you guys are going through the same thing as 
as me na experience ko in the beginning of the pandemic. It's never too late to uh, to change. And so if you guys are interested to uh, know how I transform my body, then uh, please keep on watching. So for my workouts, uh, I started out really small actually. Ang unang-unang ginawa ko talaga was bumili lang ako ng Fitbit. It's a simple fitness tracker. It just tracks your daily activity. So ang ginagawa natin, titignan niya yung mga steps na nalakad mo nung araw na yon or the calories that you burned throughout the day, yung distance ng mga nilakad mo, the flights of steps, kung ilang uh, hagdan ang inakit mo nung araw na yon. So and also your heart rate and it also tracks your uh, sleeping patterns. Which I, which I like. Kasi nakikita niya kung ilang oras ka natulog or ilang oras yung REM sleep mo, yung deep sleep mo, and yung light sleep mo. It's really important to know uh, kung ano yung nagiging sleeping habits mo. Kasi importante yung tulog talaga. Sleep helps us with, you know, recovery. For our overall health na rin kailangan uh, quality yung uh, sleep natin. But anyway, so yeah, I started with buying a Fitbit muna. Kasi I read somewhere na kailangan natin ng at least 10,000 steps every day to stay active. Kasi nga, yung first few months ng pandemic, eh talagang wala akong any kind of physical activity. Lagi lang akong nakahilata talaga. Lagi lang akong natutulog, lagi lang akong nakahiga. At least kung ano man lang, meron man akong physical activity, kahit maglakad-lakad man lang ako, kaya ko namang gawin yung paglalakad-lakad. So, I started off with the minimum na 10,000 steps. no medyo sinipag na ako, tinatry kong, you know, i-increase incrementally yung number of steps na ginagawa ko everyday. So, nagiging 10,000, then 15,000, and then pag talagang sinisipag ako, ginagawa kong 20,000 steps. Recently, ang ginagawa ko is, ang minimum ko everyday is 20,000 steps. It's relatively inexpensive. Makukuha nyo siya sa mga uh, suking tindahan nyo, aka Lazada and Shopee. Available po siya. You can, you can get yourself a Fitbit there. And marami pang ibang brands ng uh, fitness tracker. Kahit yung mga Apple, Apple watches, meron yung mga, mga ganun. Kung hindi man, you can even use your phone. Yung health app dun sa phone nyo, uh, natatrack niya rin kung ano yung physical activity niyo. Kailangan nyo lang talaga malaman kung ano yun. Kasi parang nagiging ano siya, reward system siya for me. Na parang laking achievement ko nung araw na yun pag uh, nakapag-workout ako or pag nakapag pag na-achieve ko yung 20,000 steps ko everyday. Parang merong may sense of accountability. So ayun, I highly recommend you guys you guys get a Fitbit or uh, any kind of fitness tracker. And then the second thing that I did was bumili ako ng jump rope. Ano, medyo ano na, medyo nagkakaroon na ako na energy, medyo may groove na ako sa pag-workout. Bumili ako ng jump rope. The jump rope that I got is also from ano lang, Lazada lang or sa Shopee lang. Um, ang ganda nito nung kinuha ko kasi meron na siyang counter. You can turn on the ano, para meron na siyang counter sa handles niya. And malalaman niya kung ilang jumps ang nagawa mo sa workout mo. So, hindi mo na kailangan magbilang kung ilang ginagawa mo, ba? Usually then ang minimum ko sa pag jump rope is at least a thousand, a thousand jumps. And ginagawa ko siya first thing in the morning when I wake up, wala pang laman yung chunk ko, parang fasted cardio kumbaga. So, the moment I wake up, I you know, I get my jump rope and just start jumping. And minsan, pag gusto ko, tumitingin lang ako ng mga jump rope workouts sa YouTube, napakarami. Sinusundan ko lang yung mga workouts nila. But usually kasi everyday, uh, minimum ko talaga is a thousand. And again, pag, kung sinisipag ako, dinadagdagan-dagdagan ko siya. Uh, minsan, ginagawa kong at least 5,000. Parami nang parami pag sinisipag. Pero yung basic, yung minimum ko is 1,000 jumps. So ayun, highly recommend din you get a jump rope. Kasi ang jump rope din, bilis makapayat. The third thing that I got for my workouts is called a TRX. Para sinasabit lang siya sa mga doors or sa mga hagdan. Pwede mo siya isabit kahit sa like sa pole or sa puno. And very ano siya helpful siya kasi especially during the pandemic, eh, hindi naman tayo nakakapunta sa mga gyms. Para siyang at home gym na rin kasi pwede mo siyang gawin kahit saan. Basta meron ka lang pagsabitan or pagtalian ng TRX. So ayun, ginagawa ko siya to do like push-ups or to work out, you know, my back or sa mga triceps din or even my legs. You can do leg workouts sa TRX. And sinusundan ko lang din yung mga workouts sa YouTube na kadaming uh, workouts doon. Google-google lang ng mga iba-ibang klaseng workouts ng TRX. So, very helpful din siya. Kasi nga, kung nasa bahay lang kayo, hindi kayo pwedeng lumabas. Pwede, pwede mo siyang gawin. And also, speaking of sa bahay lang, uh, I also got stackable weights. It's called Power Blocks. 
Um, ano siya, dumbbell siya, pero ano siya, sinastack mo lang siya. Tapos ina-adjust-adjust mo lang yung nasa gilid para to increase the, the weights. To save space na rin, kasi usually, di ba, pag mga dumbbells, eh, ang dami, nakalatag. Yun, nakastack lang siya. So, very convenient, very portable, kahit saan mo siya lagay. Actually, yung mga gamit kong pang-workout, nasa kwarto lang. Very convenient. Hindi ka natatama rin to go somewhere or pumunta pa ng malayo. Wala ka na excuse kasi nasa kwarto mo lang siya. Nasa gilid lang ng kama ko, yung mga equipment ko. So, yung yung TRX ko, sinasabit ko lang sa door ng kwarto, yung stackable weights ko nasa gilid lang. And then also for ano for abs, I use a an ab roller. Ginagawa ko rin siya every day. Actually in conjunction with my with my jump rope, first thing I do in the morning is yung jump rope and yung ab roller din ginagawa ko. So very simple lang, super simple lang ng mga equipments ko. Wala ko yung mga home gym, yung mga bench, wala ko mga ganun. Dito lang sa bahay lang talaga, very simple, very minimal equipment lang yung ginagamit kong pang-workout. Sa food naman, uh, actually is very simple lang din ang ginagawa ko. Wala ko mga ginagawang mga special diets or yung mga intermittent fasting, yung mga ganun. I just try to eat really clean, relatively clean. Kailangan lang kompleto ka ng mga macros mo. Yung protein, yung carbs, yung healthy fats. Uh, yung basic principle ng, ano, ng calorie deficit, kailangan mas mataas yung calories na nababurn mo compared dun sa calories na kinukonsume mo. So, ayan. So, very helpful lang din yung Fitbit na na-mention ko kanina kasi natatrack na nga yung calories na nababurn mo. So, medyo aware ka din sa calorie intake mo. I try to eat relatively clean. I cut out a lot of junk food and fast food and dairy and yung rice din ako sa payan. Sobrang namimiss ko na yung rice. Matagal-tagal na rin ako hindi ko makain ng rice. Pero nagaanan naman ako um, rice alternatives like quinoa. Actually ngayon parang hindi ko na siya masyadong kinikrave kasi nasanay na ako na hindi ako makain masyado ng rice. Um, yung ano din, yung volume din, yung amount na kinakain ko is actually marami din siya. Marami ako kumain but uh, it's very clean. So, puro ano lang, chicken and then a lot of vegetables. Ayun, hindi ko naman sinasabi na 100% of the time, eh, malinis ako kumain. Sometimes, eh, nag indulge din ako. When I feel like celebrating or pag may mga special occasions, uh, kumakain ako ng, ng kahit ano, kumbaga. Uh, kasi favorite ko talaga pizza. Hindi ko malatgo yung pizza talaga. Once in a while, once in a blue moon, to treat myself, I have a, um, a cheat meal. Hindi cheat day, ah. Cheat meal lang. Throughout the day, kakain ako ng yung usual na kinakain kong uh, diet and then kuna sa gabi eh mag indulge ako kasi wala lang gusto ko lang mag mag-celebrate or pag may special occasions like eh, katulad nung birthday ng mama ko uh, last month eh ayun talagang kumain kami hindi ko naman din deprive yung sarili ko mas actually mas nananamnam ko siya kasi parang uh, for the longest time diba kumakain ako ng super clean and then pag may time na nag indulge ako mas lalo ko siyang ninanamnam kasi minsan-minsan lang siya so mas lalo ko siya na-enjoy actually so Ay lang naman, importante lang na nakukuha ko yung macros ko, yung protein and fats and carbohydrates and then na ano ko lang yung ano ko yung calorie deficit ko. Uh, calories in and out. Kailangan mas mataas lang yung calories out. So, and you can do that sa pag-workout. And some other things na ginagawa ko din, I'm really thankful to Avignon, Avignon Clinic kasi they help me with uh, my aesthetic needs, like mga facials ko. And also, they have treatments that will help you with your fitness journey or your body transformation as well. So, ang ginagawa ko sa Avignon is yung M-Sculpt nila. Yun yung treatment nila for muscle building and fat burning as well. So, ginagawa ko siya sa aking tummy. And ang um, isang session daw ng M sculpt is equivalent to doing 20,000 crunches or 20,000 sit-ups. I really can attest to the effectiveness ng treatment na yun kasi nakikita ko yung results talaga. So, malaking tulong din siya. So, thank you so much to Avignon and marami salamat din sa ano ko sa trainer ko na si Coach Flex from um, Anytime Fitness Holy Spirit kasi siya nagbigay sa akin ng mga workouts ko sa TRX and uh, pag kailangan ko ng tulong sa mga workouts ko, kunwari may pinaghahandaan ako, message ko lang siya na coach, may, may kailangan akong gawin or may pinaghahandaan ako, binibigyan niya ako ng mga tips na pwede kong gawin to uh, get ready for that project. So thank you so much kay, kay Coach Flex. Shout out sa'yo. Basically, yun lang naman. I just wanted to share with you guys kung ano yung mga ginawa ko and how I was able to transform my body during the pandemic. You know, my body is far from perfect. I still have a lot of work to do to achieve my body goals, kumbaga. But uh, so far, I'm really, really happy with my journey so far and what I have achieved so far during the lockdown. So if anyone out there is going through some things with their body or gusto nilang i-transform yung 
body nila sana makakuha kayo ng inspiration dito sa video na to or counting mga tips sana may ma natutunan kayo dito sa video na to so in this part I'm just gonna show you some before and after videos para makita nyo rin yung uh, kung paano talaga nagtransform yung katawan ko so here are some uh, photos and some clips na aking before and after yung aking how it started versus how it's going and day one Saan na to? Aalisin na natin yan. Kung double chin natin, aalisin na natin yan. So magbabay na kayo kasi sana awa ng Diyos in 6 months wala na to. Abs na to. Hey guys, so update. 6 months later, ito na po siya. This is our progress so far. I am very happy and very proud of my progress. Uh, konti pa. I still have a long way to go but sobrang layo na na narating natin since um, 6 months ago. So, ayan. so much for clicking on this video thank you so much for watching um, please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and my latest single gusto ko pa is out on all digital streaming platforms sana po support po natin yung aking latest single abangan niyo po yung aking music video lalabas na rin po yun follow me on all my socials is at jason d on instagram jason james d on twitter jason d fan page on facebook uh, jason d official on kumu please follow me on kumu maraming maraming salamat i'll see you guys in the next video take care Thank you.